This short video shows how to create and manage copy buckets in Sitka's Evergreen. Copy buckets are useful for keeping item records together over a period of time. Copies added to a bucket will stay there until you are ready to work with them, and being in a bucket has no effect on circulation. Click on Cataloging and select Copy Buckets. The copy bucket interface is split into two tabs. The first is the bucket view. Here you can view or create buckets. Click on the buckets tab. Your existing buckets will be displayed in the drop down list. You can create buckets, you can edit or delete buckets, or you can view shared buckets. To view a shared bucket, click on shared bucket, enter the ID of the shared bucket, and click load bucket. The bucket will be displayed. To create a new bucket, click on buckets and select new bucket. Enter a bucket name and an optional description. You can ignore the publicly visible flag. Uh, this flag does not make the buckets publicly visible. Click Create Bucket and your new bucket will be created. Use the Pending Copies tab to add copies or items to your bucket. Click on Pending Copies and choose your bucket. And then you can scan or enter your barcodes into the Scan Item box. Once you have scanned in all the copies, you can use the checkbox on the top here to select them all or use the checkboxes to select them individually and then choose Actions, Add to Bucket. And the items will be added to your bucket. The copy bucket interface has been streamlined so that the actions the multiple actions buttons have been replaced with the standard function bar and all of the actions are found in the under the one actions button. So you can use the uh, box here to select all of the items and then click on actions and copy buckets are most often used to batch update item attributes or to batch delete copies. Um, so if you want to batch update item attributes you can select edit select edit selected copies and the uh, copy editor will be open with all of the barcodes there. You can make edits as if you were editing one record. Um, for example, we're going to change the shelving location for these items to display. And then save. And the shelving location for these three items will be updated. Uh, we'll need to hit refresh to see that. You can also use copy buckets to batch delete copies. Just select the copies you want to delete and then click on actions and select delete selected copies from catalog. If the item is in the bucket, deleting it from the catalog will not delete it from the bucket. For this reason, we recommend that you have the item status as a displayed field in your copy bucket. Copy status. Once you choose copy status as a displayed field, remember to save your columns. You may also add copy records to a bucket when they are displayed on some other screens. Holdings maintenance, item status, check-in, and items out in patron's account all have actions buttons which will allow you to add your items to a bucket. Uh, for example, here we're on item status. If we click on actions, we can add items to bucket. And we'll be prompted to add to an existing bucket. You get your list of choices there, or you can enter a name for a new bucket. I'll add this one to my display bucket add to selected bucket, and that's that. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.